Hello, in this video let's get acquainted with the home page. Home page aggregates various dashboards that allow admins and supervisors to see key team metrics. There are six widgets in total. Team activity and availability shows where people are tracking their time right now, who is idle, who is not tracking time at all and who is absent for some reason. You can find it out without bugging people to report on their activity. Uh, then goes Team Timesheet. It shows two latest weeks with uh, member totals. You can click on a cell to see on what tasks time was spent exactly and add it if necessary. Additionally, you can set the daily norm of hours in your team settings and then see and easily spot any difference which is below or above this norm. You can also see time of events and uh, scroll back to previous weeks as well as filter the dashboard by team groups. This may be handy if you have multiple departments and would like to see only time of your department not the entire team. Additionally, you can click on anybody's name here and see what time was spent exactly by that user. Then we have team vacations and time of dashboard. This widget shows where people are absent and for what reason. So you can quickly realize that somebody is not going to work uh, in the coming days. By the way, all of these three widgets let you to unfold their separate pages and use the functionality to the full extent. Let's go further. Then you have the dashboard that groups time by project, client, or task. When you group it by task, you just see tasks with uh, most spent time according to the selected period. If you choose project or client view, you can again group it by your custom period and uh, see the time grouping or billable amount, costs, profit and lost information. Below is a very similar dashboard. It groups data by member names or team groups that you create in team settings. And again, you can uh, show it by time, billable amount, costs, profit and lost. Then you see expenses widget. It gives a summary of all non-time costs for a custom date range that you can group by different parameters. Uh, this is handy to keep the summary in one place, not to forget to reimburse your staff or to add your expenses to the client bill. By the way, when you don't need some of these widgets, you can scroll to the top and just switch off as well as reorder how widgets appear on this page. That's all I wanted to share with you. If you still have questions about this page, feel free to contact us at askeveraw.com or click on the green question mark button to read our support materials.